we are going to Slab City and see what all the fuss is about. So it should be interesting. Mr. Pop. 60 years ago, that half mile was in the middle of a military training ground. Apparently, legendary tank commander George Patton used the area to prepare his first U.S. Armoured Corps for the North Africa invasion during World War II. In the 60s, the military moved, tearing down its buildings, but leaving the concrete slabs. Never guessing they'd make foundations for nomads of another era. The seeds of Slab City. What do you think of that place? Um, obviously like the art is cool, but there were a lot of messages that were really dark and sad and um, depressing. The artistic part was cool. The artistic part was cool, yeah. Yeah, there, there were some really creative things in there. So are we going to stay here tonight? No, thank you. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the apocalypse. apocalypse. Yeah, this is crazy. Wow. Unreal. I built Salvation Mountain because I wanted everybody to know that God Almighty loves them. Leonard Knight says a religious experience drove him to the desert in the mid-80s. Since then, he slapped about 50,000 litres of paint on a clay ridgeline overlooking the slabs. Salvation Mountain. So where are we at right now? <laughs> 